oh my god, I'm finally here. And by here, I mean on YouTube. Um, hey guys, this is gonna be my first video, I think. Um, so it's probably just gonna be a get ready with me slash q and I asked my followers on Instagram to send me questions and they don't know why they were sending me questions, but they sent me questions. And I'm gonna be answering them in this video. I'm gonna start by doing my brows. Um, I just wanna find my favorite brow. Where is it? I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in Dark Brown and this really crusty um, eyebrow brush that I've had for three years. It's from the Milani Stay Put Brow. It gets the job done, but it's really old and literally falling apart. If you want a brow tutorial where I actually like explain things, let me know because I would be down to do one, you know? I just use the smallest amount when I use this brush my hairs in place. I like cleaned the heck out of my brows the other day, so this is nice. So my first question was, how do you keep your eyebrows clean? And then in parentheses, she put wax, shave, thread. How I keep my eyebrows clean is I actually use like these razors. I think they're meant for beards, to be honest. They're like those just, it's just like a straight like blade thing. Um, a lot of people use them for eyebrows. I use them for eyebrows. It's really fast and like, I've never cut myself with it. They sell them at Daiso for like $1.50 for like a three pack. Like one just lasts a really long time. Not to mention there's a pack of three. So like $1.50 can take you far. And I still like to trim too in case my hairs are like too long. And occasionally, <laughs> occasionally, I'm not saying I do this regularly. Once in a while, I will, um, thread my own brows. If you want to see how I thread my own brows, um, comment down below. <laughs> and um, yeah, give this video a thumbs up so I know, I think. Unless I say that multiple times throughout this video, then I probably won't know which thumbs up you're referring to. Next, I'm going in with the NYX Full Coverage Concealer in the shade CJ04 Beige. This is not my shade at all, but I cover my concealer with foundation anyways. So it doesn't really matter to me. Sorry. And the next question is, what are some of your passions besides makeup? I really like singing uh, and music in general. Growing up, I played like a bunch of instruments because my parents didn't let me wear makeup. But yeah, I have a music channel. Um, I don't know if you guys want to look at it because she's a little cringy. Are you Polly? You are so pretty. Thank you. That's so nice. It's surprising how often I get that question. Like people think I'm either Polly or like just like Hawaiian. It's so hard to talk and like do your eyebrows at the same time. Give me a second. I'm Filipino. Um, mm -hmm. I never want to claim something I'm not. The next question says, when did you start wearing makeup? I want to look pretty, but I'm 20 with no experience. I started wearing makeup technically in like sixth or seventh grade but i didn't wear like really that much like i wore bb cream sometimes and then i would just wear like eyeliner that's literally it not even mascara i didn't start wearing mascara until like my freshman year of high school but before that it was literally only like eyeliner and it was like blue or brown <laughs> Um, so I started wearing makeup when I was in when I was like 13 ish. I started wearing it like completely uh, Maybe my late junior year of high school um, If not then senior year of high school. I didn't start doing colorful makeup until my freshman year of college um, Which I just finished so This is a real techniques um, medium shadow brush by the way. I really like it for blending out my eyebrow concealer um, I feel like it works really well. Another question I got was, how long have you been doing makeup for? You are so talented. Thank you so much, Samantha. Um, I just answered that question, so like, just rewind the video a little bit just to hear my answer. <laughs> um, the next question she asked me was, what got you into makeup? Depends on what you mean by makeup, because like, like I said, I went through like three phases of makeup where like one was like really basic like bits and pieces, another one was like a full face but like neutral, and then now it's like full beat glam rainbow type stuff. I think what got me into like uh, makeup like to begin with was like, 
this is gonna sound so dumb but at my school there was a lot of like filipina girls and like asian girls in general like i don't want to say abg but like abgs and um they would all wear like they were all so pretty and i was like so jealous and then they all like i don't know what it is but they all were like no makeup except for like a winged liner and my parents wouldn't let me wear liquid eyeliner just pencil so i could get like along my lash line but i was like i want to wear makeup too what the heck it was just eyeliner but i was like damn i want to wear makeup too shout out to them for getting me into makeup so next i'm going in with the morphe 39a this is also known as the dare to create palette um i got this palette back in december when they first launched it for like limited edition they like relaunched it because it was really popular apparently which i mean i couldn't see why it's a colorful palette with like huge transition shades but anyways okay so there's two greens right here i'm going in with the darker one which is pine my next question is how do you get your eyeshadow so blended and snatched i'm out here struggling um okay so the way i do eyeshadow to get the most pigment i like okay so i prime my lids with urban decay primer potion because it's a little bit sticky but it still like dries down a little bit so that could be like a good thing or a bad thing depending on the kind of person you are for me it's kind of more so a bad thing because i like my eye primers to be really like sticky but i can't use concealer because concealer is um it creases very easily on my lids because they're very oily i always like pat in color to make it like very dense and opaque and then after that, I blend out the edges with a little bit of a lighter color. So I'm going with pine, and then I'm going in with the lighter green, which is fickle, to like smoke out, buff out the edges. So yeah, that's how I do my eyeshadow. Okay, so the next question I got is, how do you take and edit your pictures? I'm obsessed. Um, thank you. That is really sweet. Um, I have a video on my IGTV, my Instagram TV, about how I take pictures. Um, how I edit pictures is kind of lengthy, if you guys want a tutorial on that, let me know. But mostly, it's just Facetune and Viscocam. So like Facetune, um, I don't really do much on Facetune, I just like, sometimes I like to make my pupils look bright because I think it's really cute. But for the most part, I just like, hide pimples on Facetune and, um, sometimes whiten my teeth i don't really do that though because most of my pictures are eye pictures and then on visco cam i like change the white balance so that like everything is uniform and i also add grain because some days my camera quality because i use an iphone the camera quality is like super grainy some days it's like super clear and it just depends on the day and the lighting so like i like to make everything look uniform so yeah so in with Muse, it's literally just matte black and I'm dipping kind of lightly and I'm gonna tap back and forth so I have an even amount of like intensity between my two eyes. What's the very first makeup product you've ever purchased? Um, it's the Milani Stay Put Brow. Um, because before I would just steal makeup from my mom. But <laughs> after that, like, I would just try to buy my own makeup and the first thing I was like, really amused by was brows and how people do their brows because i thought it was like so cool so i wanted to buy an eyebrow product and i saw like the anastasia beverly hills dip brow because that was like popping at the time everybody and their mama was on anastasia beverly hills dip brow and oh i just almost dropped mine oh my god i almost dropped mine the lid's already like cracking and i'm scared that it's gonna break but it looked like dip brow and i was like ugh, i'm broke so i guess i might as well so next i just cut my crease with the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. I'm in the shade Medium 26. Um, my next question is, what is your top three must-have makeup products? Um, one is definitely Dip Brow. I literally cannot live without ABH Dip Brow Concealer, and specifically the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. I love this one so much. Oh my god, it's so good. I don't really like Tarte Shape Tape, I know that one's like all the rave with the kids these days, but like, it makes my under eyes cakey because they're low key dry, um, so I just don't like Tarte Shape Tape. This is just the NYX Glitter Primer. I would say the third product that I cannot live without is Cody Airspun Translucent Powder. I'll try other things, I don't mind trying other things, but you will never get me to abandon Cody Airspun. I always come back to it. The NYX Glitter Brilliance 
in Dubai bronze. Okay, another thing people ask me a lot is where I'm from. Where I'm from, there ain't no struggle, yes, no stress in my sweet island bubble, and I know that I carry no frown with this beauty all around. This is so stressful. Any good setting powders that don't give flashback, I have oily sex skin. Okay, yeah, I didn't answer that. Um, a good powder with no flashback. Um, I've heard the Fit Me powder, the Maybelline Fit Me powder is really good, but um, I don't really know much about that. I'll have to try it soon. Um, since I'm gonna be working at Ulta, I'm probably gonna end up like buying it. Me, a really good powder with no flashback is the Makeup Revolution Luxury Baking Powder in the shade Banana. And um, it's kind of thick because it's made for baking and brightening, but what I do is like I bake with it and then to set my face, I just spread the bake around, you know what I'm saying? Instead of wiping it off your face, just wipe it around your face. It's just not my favorite powder because it's very drying. Um, so. Do you have oily as heck skin? I would definitely say that powder would work really well for you. I have no more questions to answer, so I'm just gonna finish up my base routine and then we're gonna fast forward to probably lashes and lips. By the way, this is the ColourPop No Filter Concealer in Medium 26. on my forehead because it really blurs out the wrinkles on now I'm going in with these lashes these are from Athena Lash Co and it's a collaboration with I don't want to say her name wrong but it's it looks like Ikis V and these are in J316 which means John 316 um, she's a very religious like Christian MUA so um, she's really talented too so I guess I'll link her down below if you guys want to check her out and um, yeah, I'm just gonna pop these on. I like, I love these. Athena Lash Co sent these to me. Um, so thank you so much. I will also link them down below. By the way, if you guys were wondering, I contoured with the transition shades in the Dare to Create palette. And I also used one of the shades as a blush. I don't know, I was just too lazy to take out my other makeup. So I used the whole the palette for my essentially my full face. I'm gonna go in with the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Copenhagen, and I'm also gonna line my lips with the matching lip liner. Am I the only one that literally does not know where their lip line like is? Because sometimes I'm like, do I line here, or is this like too far out? You know what I'm gonna do before this dries down? I'm gonna take my 39A and I'm just gonna like put eyeshadow over it. Sorry, my my like laptop is giving me notifications. This is the black. I don't think I look scary. I think I look really cute actually. I don't really know how I feel about doing the eye eyeshadow on the lip thing. I feel like maybe it would work for like another color of lip or eyeshadow. I feel like it's also like bleeding. I already tried to con like I already tried to carve out my lips with concealer. I know that's really extra, but like for the most part, I think this look turned out really cute. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I would really love to see you back. So if you guys could just hit that subscribe button and the bell icon, so you can be notified every time I post, that would be really great. But if you guys want to see like how I do my eyebrows or like an eyeshadow tutorial or something like that, just let me know. Um, also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Madeline Makeup. It's the same username as here. And yeah, I would really like to see you guys come back once again. Thank you guys so much for being here and yeah. Bye guys!